11. I'm pretty sure it's the 21st of February 2019. Though I don't put any stock in the Gregorian calendar or time itself anymore these days or what they've told us is time. So we're looking almost, almost into the north over there, that huge redness. I have no idea. It's 6.52. So we're half an hour before sunrise, exactly. And you've got me stuck. What is that? You got this thing, it's been up all, all night. Well, it came out at about one o'clock a.m. About midnight it popped out. And it's just been just a fluttering and a hovering all up in front of everything you got me stuck and that's in the west and it's just been a changing and a rearranging it goes almost full they didn't get oh god i mean look at that red expanse in the in the uh northeast a bright glowing red expanse I wonder how much longer they're just going to keep making it rain all over the world to hide the skies. That is exactly what's going on, boy. I mean, it's going to be impossible to cut grass this year. I know it is. The ground is too wet. The year finished that way last year in the fall and, in the, and all winter. And it's going to start that way this year. Just a saturated, goopy mess. They have to keep doing it. They'd be doing it right now if they could. They were trying to make it snow. And the weather people, boy, do they rub it in our faces. <laughs> I mean, these things are manifesting all through there. Right to the right of that tower, which is right by my neighborhood, there's a massive round object. There's a huge one in the middle of the screen right there. I have no idea what those floaters are, probably ships. And, a, and something gargantuan and red right down there. You can even see a small delineation of either one or a few things. Who knows? You know, they're trying to crush it, but look at that light. And don't tell me that all this fake light ain't fake. Anybody who even tries to say, I'm just going to delete your comment. I'm not going to get rid of you or nothing. You got your opinion. But I know what I'm talking about. I can tell a big blue screen when it gets turned on like this. And it's on all night, too. It never gets dark in Cincinnati, ever. It never gets dark in Cincinnati, Ohio. They tell me. 7.04, huh? This is all my Christian album. I felt like doo-doo all day yesterday, boy, I slept all day, all night, but I know through Yeshua everything gonna be alright. You got me stuck. I just wanna thank you, Lord, for what you're doing for me. I just wanna thank you, Lord, for what you're doing uh -huh. for me. Thank you, Jesus. Your way. 
I know your makeup right today. Lord, please lead me. I'll do your will. I can't carry the weight no more. I know you'll open every door. If I go through, I know you'll do much more. I'm sure some of you noticed it too, but what's a trip is that the colors all started exactly when I sang a little bit. So much of this is attracted to, to our frequencies, folks. It's not even funny. What in the worlds is that? Shoo. Yeah, I love that album. I don't play it a lot, just, you know, you, you gotta be in the right groove for it, but it's called Repentant Cry, and, um, oh my gosh, the, the sack, oh, look, oh, look at that, they crank the fake light, so that you have to bring the brightness down. Yeah, the sax player who also played keys on it and stuff, uh, is the Neville Brothers piano player. I, I couldn't believe it. And then a lady named Sidel, who's just a great worship leader uh, and biblical scholar and writer and author and teacher and counselor. I mean, she's just awesome. Uh, Aaron Mahoney. I forget the other guy's name's Mike. And, uh, oh, I mean, and dude played like a fretless, like, 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 um, like sinew string bass. It was, it was really, <laughs> it was neat. Just a create, just a really creative, free style approach to to a uh, very neo kind of Christian blend of like like gospel with kind of just a rock touch to it. Look at this, man! You got me stuck. You know, and you got a V shape right there. You know, this is all just so fake. It just makes me want to puke. <laughs> Way before sunrise way before sunrise to, I'm, I mean there's a shadow which means that there's an object right there or that little blue one right there but I think it's more 
that thing right there, that very nondescript little blob right in the middle of the screen. Uh -huh. Objects casting shadows in the fake blue knucklehead sky. And the entire horizon is lit up like this. Now, that's what it is right there. Look at that. That thing right there is what's casting that shadow. And it is moving. Or the, or the shadow is. Show you right. I'll be back, y'all. It's the captain.